part of this, it, it is incumbent upon the advanced technology companies to make sure that they are not selling a technology, but to make sure that they're selling not just their solution, but the end-to-end -end solution, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? You know, I, 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 they, they, they have to, they have to be able to sell their solution by ensuring that their clients can evolve into it. Exactly, and participate, right? To become part of that digital economy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right, right. So, you know, be, uh, behind me, I, I have my three books. Mm -hmm. And, and my, my, my third book, which came out in November of last year, is a, is a fusion between my uh, 30 years, my, my over 30 years of professional experience and uh, a personal passion of mine, which is I've, I've been fencing since 1993 and coaching in my own little club since 2007. So when I, when I coach a new fencer, child or adult, mm -hmm. right, you know, do, doesn't matter, I always start with footwork first. I, I don't start with weapon work. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I will tell you that. Um, Footwork is is more boring, right? Because everybody wants to wail around the sword, right? That's Look good while doing good. that. Right? Yeah, that you know, much more cool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know when 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 you you know when you watch a movie or you watch a TV show or something like that, and you see two sword fighters going at it or two people with lightsabers, you're not watching their footwork. You're watching the action, right? Right beautifully staged right which is yes. all yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. but but the but the footwork is is critical and it's foundational if you don't have balance stability poise and great footwork that you can use for speed tempo mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, uh, again you know center of gravity balance the ability to uh, to control your distance, and I use distance offensively and defensively in fencing. If if you don't have your footwork, all the weapon work in the world is not going to help you. Excellent. So, mm -hmm. applying that to technology, if your foundational systems are not functioning spot on. And the foundational business system for companies is the enterprise resource planning system and the data held within it. That is the business system of record. It is, it is the software system that allows you to account for what is operationally happening, right? It is, it is, it is the system that is, that is two halves of a whole, mm -hmm. right? You know, I, I don't like it when accountants call it the accounting system because technically I don't need the accounting side to operate my business. And for the accountants that are watching this podcast they, and, and their hearts have just stopped, they, they can defibrillate themselves now. But it, it, what I'm saying is, is, is actually correct. It, the, the ERP system accounts for what is operationally going on. Yes, I, I need both parts, um, but it, it is the business system of record and, and that is the system at the core where, where, all, where all other information is going to be you know, realistically extracted. Reaching to the choir, I have business process management background and operational excellence background. So now we call it intelligent automation. But by automation, meaning absolutely streamlining your basic processes first. You know, finding the ways to optimize your very boring very mm -hmm. manual operations before right. you reach for father like shiny toy and yes, say yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the EDI system integrates to the ERP. A, a, your, your inventory warehouse management system, right? No matter, you know, no matter how simple or how advanced, integrates to ERP. So, you know, 
with with those you know with those three technologies mm -hmm. I, I you know I, I i have everything that i need for you know for supply chain you know just just right there exactly so, it's not very right. sexy though right it's not your beautiful shiny embellishments right but this is bread and butter of your business and that's right. where you advise to start right yeah makes sense well, I, you know I, 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 again you know i mean i i i I've been involved in supply chain vendor compliance since 1993. You know, what do I, what do I need to compete? Mm -hmm. I need an ERP system, something. I need EDI and I need to put barcode labels on my products and, and, my, and my boxes. That's a start. That's a solid start, right? You know what, if, I mean, you know, if I can do those things, I, I'm I'm in I'm in the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, the science behind those technologies has improved greatly. Mm -hmm. We we use laser scanners today, not charge coupled devices. Again, we don't use dial up modems. Where we're doing everything over the internet. ERP functionality has uh, features and functionality have have improved greatly. But you know those those three technologies from essentially the 1970s, late 70s, you know, maybe early 80s, right, are what runs supply chains today. And so, if we, you know, if a company can't get those three things correct, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, AI, machine learning. And, and blockchain are are not going to magically save you, you know those those technologies are enhancements to to you know to the to the foundational tech. I mean, if if you can't get EDI right without manual intervention, you know don't don't try blockchain because you know there's no manual intervention there. 